Okay, this is the part two of the church management software. Okay, here we will continue from here. So when you are done, you have to cancel here and then go to proof list. So the proof list will get you the names of those people who do the contribution today. And then the system will get you the total contribution, the total amount the indiv those individual contributed so far. Okay, so these are the list, the names of those who do the contributed, the contributions today. And then this is the total amount. So something is going to happen right now. I'm going to close the interface of the contributions. Now here the system is asking me to send the money to the accounts department, which is the accounting side, which is the accountants. Okay, I'm holding this amount, but I have to send it to the accounts department. So when I close it, the system will ask me to send the money to the cash at hand automatic. So when I click save, the money has been sent to the accounts department. So when, you are, when the accounts department also opens their accounting side and go to the accounts management, automatically the system will get them the total amount I've received so far here, which is indicating in the cash at hand. Okay, the same amount have to automatically also hit the income side, which is the um, the tight that I've collected. This is it. So it's a double entry accounting. Once this transaction hits the accounting, it means then I have to do my transactions. It's either I'll do expenses or I'll send some money to the bank. Okay, this is the transactions. So if I want to send money or do any transactions so far, it depends on the, uh, the type of transaction I want to do. Let's say I want to do some expenses. Okay, I'll quickly come here and then select expense. So this is the expenses side. So it's either I will choose communication is here, computer and then, then accessories is also here. These are all expenses like electricity bills. So if I click electricity bills and then click new, the system will prepare me an interface here for me to do my expenses. So I'll increase my expense and then I'll select the date I want to do the expense and then the amount that I, I want to do the expenses towards it. And then I'll give it the prescription like electricity bill. So you type the, uh, the prescription here and then you choose post to, you know, every accounting is a double entry. So once I am doing the expenses, who is making the, who is receiving the payment? Who is doing the payment? So I can come here and then choose cash at hand. So if cash at hand is doing, is making the payment, then I have to choose, look for the cash at hand here. And then I'll save straight away. Transaction, a new transaction have been entered has been added do you want to add another transaction if yes i'll click yes and then i may be i'll come to my cash and then select my cash at hand and then do some payments through my cash so this one i can choose that i'm sending the money to the bank so i'll pick a bank i'm sending the money to let's say credit union and then i'll enter the amount I am sending to the credit union and then enter my prescri prescriptions here and then if I enter my description and then I'll click on save and then transaction also hits. So this is how the accounting side also looks like. This is the interface of the transaction. So if you do all these transactions and if you want a proof or if you want a list, this is how the transaction is going to show you. So every ledger is going to give you its own um, general ledger preparation. Okay, now when it's done, now let's move to schedules. Schedules comes in is as a let's say first we talk about meetings. Meetings is one we can decide types of meetings. 
we can choose to create a new meetings like chess chess service like first service so i can i can type i can type let's say first service or second service as a meeting i remember when i was introducing the software first i first asked something or said something this is manual meeting entrance entries this one is a manual in uh, meetings entries a meeting like i'm saying it can be church service like first service second service but if you do this you have to do it manual you have to enter the names manually this one is manual entry so you have to enter those people who attend church manually or, or who attend the meetings manually that is why i was explaining to you that this attendance machine here is main for the church attendance once you 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 scan the person's um face automatically when the person is coming to church the moment the sensor sees the person's face it captures the person and assign the person on the date the person attend the church that is why this software communicates with the time attendance okay and this is and i showed you this is how we fix it so every member who is going to enter the church must first look at the at the interface of the machine and seconds it will capture the person and sign in you and it will sign the person the day the person attend church and the time the person got into the church whether it's first service or second service the system will capture so let's quickly take a look at the interface of it have you seen this place this is on the 7th on the 7th may 2007 absentees who came to church you can get their information here all these people were absent on that day that same day the presence you can get those who were present here all this information was not manually entered this information was from the time attendance machine so if you want a software that can communicate with time attendance machine like facial attendance machine or fingerprint attendance machine for your church you have to go for memplus okay now once you have you once you, you you have understand this now let's quickly take go through we have auto tax the system comes out with auto tax if you want to use it we have event registration if you want to use the event registration it's in the it's in the system already we have church calendar it's also here the church calendar allow you to prepare or prepare uh, what do you call it schedules or schedule a meetings for individual coming to see the church the head pastor or the reverend like the, ch the ch head pastor can use this interface as an event preparation or meetings meeting schedules for the, for the people he wants to meet for the day all right and we have rooms and equipment inventory so the, the person who takes care of the um, the asset asset committee of the church this is their interface this is where they can register their room and equipments in there and this is the event the equipment inventory so every asset that the church is owing the church can use this interface to prepare the name of the pro the, the the item is it an audio is it chairs computers and then the serial numbers the location of that pro the, the that item the number of quantity you have and the and the, and the purchase location where you purchase it the amount you purchase it the date you purchase it so this is the information so this one gets you everything that your church needs then we have the service if you want to use the service it's here and we have reports this is report generator this software comes out with different kind of report about 160 report structure i'm i'm saying it again this software will get you 160 report structure it doesn't matter what you are thinking of the software will get it for you now let's quickly go to the report and see how the report is going to be generated for us so far now when i click on the report generator the system will get us 
this all this report now let's quickly take a look at the accounting side when i come to the accounting we have the accounts management the graph income and expenses the payee the registry so if i click here the system can get me the accounting balances this is how it looks like this is the accounting balances so far and we have the account balances per actual and remember there's date here you can change the date either backwards or it depending how the date you want to track then you preview so this one also will get you the actuals per the accounting balances okay then we come to accounting balances per budget okay the system also comes out with budget so if you if you enter the budget you get the transaction you have made so far based on the budget and then we have the balance sheet this is the balance sheet interface we have um the chart of accounts we have the tri balance also here this is the tri balance and we have the tri balance for beginning try balance for beginning then it gets you the beginning balances here there was no beginning balance beginning balances and the every transactions or everything that you every report let me put it that way every report comes out with a graph every report comes out with graph so if i click on let's say cash flow or inflow the system will get me a graph for it all right then this is my income and expense per actual this is the income and expense that's the payments receipts and payment let me put it that way we call it in churches receipts and payments okay and this is it look at all this report you can get and this is the registry the cash flow is here this is the cash flow interface we have the cash flow the inflow and outflow we have the general ledger also here that's the GL that one is also here so this is the accounting size so every report you want it you want from the accounting you get contributions also gives you contribution by details so far i can get i have contribution summary the summary also is here contribution proof list contribution by member this one will get you contribution by member this one will get you those people who contributed and those who doesn't contribute at all so this is contribution by member and list of non-contributors these people don't contribute at all here all these people they don't contribute so this is the list of non-contributors we have monthly contribution summary monthly fund summary average okay and it gives you everything we have deposits equipment inventory report funds okay groups and activities this is the groups list if you want the group list this is how it looks like so the group list also gets you the name and the person either the person was present at church you know either the person was absent you know okay so this is how it also looks like and we have member reports the member report also gets you the gender the total genders in the church and you can get a percentage out from it this is the percentage so far we have marital status these are the total membership side this is the membership total marital status we have um those who are married singles widowed okay divorce and then children department and then the members main member status will give you active members in your church active member adults youth active member children department okay and the system will get you inactive members also okay now the attendance also is going to get us a graph base a graph base on the church attendance interface this one is going out yes this is the attendance this is the church attendance that you are seeing here based on every date those who attend church so far and the system also will get you a, the number of people who attend church you see here we have the first october those who how many people were absent about 1366 people were absent and 
447 were present, representing a percentage from here that the system will get to the percentage from here. This software, like I'm saying, is the best software so far for you. And it doesn't cost. It doesn't cost much. And the main source is from Ghana. If you want the software to be installed for you, you can get it from Ghana. You can even get the setup from us with the cheapest cost. All that you have to do is talk to Software House Ghana or email us or call us on, the, on our screen. The number is there. You will get the software cheaper. And it doesn't cost. There is no monthly charge for this software. And there is no yearly charge. Once you buy it, once and for all, that is all. And if you are in Ghana here, you can also call us for us to come and do the installation and training for you. And that is all. So, viewers, thank you very much for viewing our new system called Memplus. Thank you very much.